To start things off, I added a few labels for data that we are going to need to calculate the percent gain or loss on our investment. The first piece of data we need to enter is the share price we would like to get for our investment, also known as the target price. If you already realized your gains or losses, you can just use the price you sold your shares for. For this example, let's say we bought some Microsoft shares and would like to sell them at $70 each. Next, we need to enter the average price per share. Let's say we bought our Microsoft shares today and paid $64.52 for them. Now, to calculate our percent gain or loss, we need to enter the following formula. Type an equal sign, followed by an opening parenthesis, and then select the value in the target price cell. Type a minus sign, and then select the value in the average price per share cell. Type a closing parenthesis, followed by a backslash, and then select your average price per share cell again. Hit the enter key. Alright, now that value looks correct, but we want it as a percentage. Select the cell and press the Ctrl F1 keyboard shortcut to bring up the formatting dialog box. Click on the percentage tab and hit OK. Now, I'd like to point out that this formula works for very large gains that exceed 100% as well. You can also use it to measure your losses, as I mentioned earlier. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to calculate the percentage for your gains or losses in Excel.